afternoon baseball here on the show. Catfish Hunter is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the A's. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now, he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Back outside. That's popped up. Here comes Davis. He's not going to get to it. So the leadoff guys aboard with a base hit. Hey, they're not all beautiful. They don't all have to be. Just throwing a lawn dart over the third baseman's head right there. Beautiful piece of hit. Stepping in now, Jorge Polanco to right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And gone up into the second deck. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Nelson Cruz is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon, come in feeling good as they're 2-0 to start the new year. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs. And let's see if they continue that today. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Here's Miguel Sano. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. 0-2 oh, count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. But two runs score. Jake Odorizzi is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, take a look at the numbers. You see that ERA a little under four last season. But I think his team and organization, they're expecting some bigger and better things out of him this year. We'll see if he can get off to a better start in this one. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. pitch on the way and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone pretty textbook pitching right there jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start working outside the zone easier said than done but that's the way you do it here's Chris Davis now And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One one. Fellas, these twins as they take the field this afternoon, they come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Matty, if they're going to clean up their recent trend right now, they're going to have to find a way for it to start on the mound. They can't go out like last game and allow a bunch of runs and not play sound defense behind them. Both those things are going to have to change if this team's going to get it going in the right direction. So he sets him down swinging. Chris Davis becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, dealer. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. 
But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. Odorizzi comes set. Here it comes on 1 0. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Chapman is off of first with two away. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. That's lifted the other way out to left. Rosario is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. Minnesota leads this one two to nothing. At the plate, Mitch Garver. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. A bouncer to the left side, and that's through for a base hit. At the plate now, Eddie Rosario, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. A runner at first with no outs here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Henderson has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. First pitch of the at bat. Max Kepler stands in as he looks at a called strike. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. First pitch on its way. Byron Buxton is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. A runner on first with two away. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Twins wind up stranding one. They're so now it's Mark Canna. Previous three meetings three with Jake Odorizzi. Not He's gone three hitter. for 11. Mark. Now here's the pitch. Canna. The wind up and the 0 1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. That is good. Not shortstop. Marcus Simeon. Next up for the A's, Marcus Simeon. He's been productive at the plate in the series with six hits coming into this one. First offering on its way. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep into the concrete staircases and gone. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy that cranked him out of here. Well, the that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson, to right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. A solo shot that time for Matt Olson. First home run of the campaign for him as the A's have fought back to make this a 2-2 ball game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. The second baseman. Standing in now, Tony Kemp. Yeah. And he puts it on the ground to second. On to first, and there were two down. Batting nine. The catcher. Austin. Allen. 
Now at the plate, Austin Allen. He's driven in three runs on three hits so far in the series. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Turned on down the line. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. He'll get it into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking, too, right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Comes set. The 0-1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch. But it was right down the chute. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Sights and sounds of a stepping in and ready for another shot. Luis Arias. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. No balls and a strike to count. Fly ball into straightaway left. Davis is under it. One away. Up next for the twin. Digging in the switch hitter, Jorge Polanco. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that last at-bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Up next for Minnesota, Nelson Cruz. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. That gets down, and the inning continues. Boy, there's another base hit, and this is just kind of like that gift that Josh Donaldson digging in now as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0 2 now. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. But not before the Twins get one, and it comes on this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the big time power bat of right handed hitter Chris Davis. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Hit hard back up the middle. Gets dirty and gloves it. Got him. Well, it certainly was a bang-bang play, so no surprise here that they're giving it another look, and they may decide to challenge the call on the field. Yeah, definitely one of those bang-bang plays, and looking at it right here again, I still don't know if I can tell for sure. Going to be interesting to see what they decide to do here. Ready for another chance? Matt Chapman. Here comes the first pitch. Chapman. He's really a rare talent in this sport, a true five-tool player, as they say, which means he can make an impact in a game at any time. Really, There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. A 
Well, one of the narratives of today's game has been driven by the long ball. We've seen these squads go deep a combined five times in this one. Matty V, this is turning into home run derby part two. d -roll. five bombs already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot of mislocations right out over the heart of the plate, and neither side is missing. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. That one's out of here. Back-to-back -back home runs. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Ro, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw gets him, two down. The batter number 10. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. Yeah, Matt, going back to that last A-B, that hits it high and deep out to center field. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. This one has turned into a slugfest of Luthian proportions. Seven combined big flies. Do you guys remember seeing anything like that in a while? Dan, I can only speak from my own past experiences. When the flags are blowing out, you want as many at-bats as you can, and that's exactly what's happened. This ball's jumping at it. You. you know, d row this is always a nightmare for a pitcher. Not only is this a good hitting ballpark, but the wind blows out on top of it. This is the last place you want to be a pitcher at. Into the box now, Tony Kemp, as he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Boy, d -Road, he's not missing very many barrels so far in this one. That is back-to-back -back bullets and another base hit. Yeah, no doubt about it. There was this banner that hung in the Texas Rangers clubhouse back in the day that said, hit or get left behind. That's exactly what this offense is doing. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Boy, you know, in today's game, D-Row, pitchers are being taught high velocity, go get ahead, strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put-away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in the count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch. And the Now in the box, Mitch Garver. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. In there, no balls in the strike. Fouled away. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, and this gets through into right, so he turns the 0 2 count into a leadoff base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is, they're looking to line them drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Right fielder looking up, still going back. And it's gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number three here in the early going. And this will make things interesting at this point. It's now a 6-5 game. Sometimes it's all about the stuff you have on a particular day. You take a look inside the numbers. 
100% of his first pitches to batters have been for strikes, but the quality hasn't been there. He's going to have to make some changes to turn this one around. Popped him up. Kemp is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Pitch of the at bat. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. But two runs... Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the ace hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters, from their approach to their swings to the results. It's all working. One key indicator of that, six extra base hits to this point in the game. All right, thanks, Heidi. Here's the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. So that brings up the always now intense batter. Matt Third Chapman. Eight. Two hits and Matt. two trips for him thus far. Hit in the air to shallow center. Polanco onto the grass. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat. Around first, digging for two. Around second now and headed for third. The relay, and he'll get in there safely. Now that, so problems the out there in right field is this is going to wind up going as an yeah, E9. Nine. So now to the plate, Mark Canna. Line down the left field line. But it drops foul down there in the home bullpen area. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Six runs, 11 hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after. All set for the start of the inning, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Jorge Polanco. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So the line score will show he departs after just four innings of work, and you know they wanted more out of him than this, as he won't even stand to be the winning pitcher here. Nelson Cruz is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And he fouls this one off. 
fires. It's pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. The 0 1 pitch. And it's fouled away. The 0 2 pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The third base. If you've got a good fastball going no. and they're not handling, keep throwing it right there. Three fastballs in a row. He gone. Fouled off. Fouled away. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And he fouls this one off. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping up is the shortstop, Marcus Simeon. Hey, Matty, an interesting sequence in that last at bat when he hit a home run. First pitch breaking ball when he hit that towering long drive home run. We'll see if they attack him more with fastballs in this at bat. There's another line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an they've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in a big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. Six runs, doubled the amount of hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw won't get him. Yeah, batting averages are much better 1-0 in a count than they are when the count is even. They opted to go with a pitch out to lead off the bat, and it obviously cost them. No real damage done yet, but now they've even got a tougher situation to deal with. Now here comes the Twins manager on his way to the mound, and a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start, that's for sure. To the plate now, Tony Kemp. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. Home run number three here in the early going as they open up a four-run lead. Now batting the catcher. At the plate, Austin, Austin Allen. Allen. As he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. And that's in there. Base hit. That can't bother you too bad, Dan, right there. Power guy at the plate, and you're able to get in his kitchen. Boy, that, that's a tough one to swallow, right? These big, strong guys, they like to get their arms extended. That wasn't that bad of a pitch, but he's just so strong that he's able to muscle that into the outfield grass. Return throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. Now batter. Ready for another shot now. Chris Davis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And, and the throw to first is there. The inning is over. For the A's. New inning set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Mitch Garver. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit sharply on the ground. Taken in by Simeon. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The left field, number 20. Eddie. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. 
Lined in the right, a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece. The, bat, the, bat, the, bat. the first base Matt Kepler. Joaquin Soria is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. 0-1, here's the pitch. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Line drive to left. In there, a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Byron Buxton is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1, and it's fouled away. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off 1-2. and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Hard hit ball to second. And that's in there. Base hit. Rosario is on his way home. He comes across to score as they close the gap to three now. The batter number two. Second At the plate now, Luis Arias as Arias. he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Scooped up. One there. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. Twins forced to settle for one. Leading off, 48. The, the, the third baseman. First pitch Shot on its way. Line drive to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. The right field. Red the fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. Catch made out there in left center as the runner may tag from second. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Next will be the designated hitter, Mark Canna. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now Canna smacks one to left. Lots of carry on this one. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Randy Dobnik will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Marcus Semyon will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Still only one out in the inning. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Another base hit. How about the game he's putting together? Now four for four in this one. Boy, talk about having a day, Debo. He gets his fourth oh, knock oh, of the game, but That's mixed in with man. one of those four oh, was a round tripper. Not a bad yeah. day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can oh, throw out four it. knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He's smiling. His food's going to taste better tonight. Stepping in now, Tony Kemp. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. In now, Austin Allen. 
as he rips it on the ground to second. That gets through for a base hit. How about the game he's having? Now four for four. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side of four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Jason Isringhausen is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Jorge Polanco is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hit down the line at first. Reined in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, right fielder. Now the pitch. Ooh. Hit hard, but foul. One out, nobody on. Again, another foul ball. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The batting. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Miguel Sano is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. A pause, and the 0-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Twins are set down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ricky Henderson. He was a double play victim last time around. Weak grounder down the line at third. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Hey, I can only take you inside the mind of the batter right here. Had a lot of swinging bunts in my day. As soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. On to first to complete the double play. The batter. Striding in for Oakland, Matt Chapman. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Grounded down the third baseline. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Eight. Settling in now, Josh Donaldson. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And what a shot. That one hit the sweets. Standing in now, Mitch Garver. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. And he falls behind 0-2. And another foul ball. One and two to the Twins catcher. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Eddie Rosario stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first himself for the out. So stepping in, Max Kepler. Last time through was a base hit. Fouled off. Here comes the 0-1. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Reggie Jackson. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. Tyler Duffy comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Runners on his way to third. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. Matter, That's his third play. RBI of the Go game stop. and extends his Mark team's it. lead. They might have this one Never locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those. Oh, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center, and I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone.
Now that. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. Fly ball into straightaway left. Rosario is there. One out. The batter, number five. Second baseman. So coming to the plate, Tony Kemp. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last at bat his second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting. So Catcher. striding in, Austin, Austin Allen. And he's trying to make this a five-hit ball game for himself right here. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. Lifted down the line in left. Long run for the left fielder, and they can't run it down. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. This is foul right side. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. First offering on its way. Luis Arias comes on with one gone here as he looks at a call strike one. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The 0-2 delivery. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. He pulls this one into right. Lands in for a base hit. And he's three for five in this one. So now with two away, the middle of the order gets to bat with opportunities on base. Nelson Cruz is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. 16 to 7 in this ball game today. Oakland were absolutely crushing the ball as he ended up with nine home runs as a team. Mike Fires claims the win out of the pen his first. Jake Odorizzi, the slap with eight earned runs as he takes.